If you recently purchased an audio gear from Behringer, Mackey, or from Rolly, then you can claim your free Waveform 8 OEM license from Traction. In this video, I'm gonna quickly demonstrate and show you Waveform 8 and the difference between Traction 7, which is now available for free. So how do you redeem your Waveform 8 OEM license? That all depends whether you purchased your gear Behringer, McKee or Rolly. With McKee and Rolly, you do need the license card that comes in the box of the item that you purchased. With Behringer, you basically have to register your gear with Behringer.com and Behringer support will email you a number. And that's the number you need to redeem. You just visit traction.com, products, waveform, DAW, OEM, and click the redeem button. As you can see here, with McKee and Rolly, there is a card inside the box with a number. That's the number you need to enter here. And with Behringer, you need to register your gear with Behringer so that they can send you your redeeming code. If you need information, you just click missing this email and they will guide you how to do it. If you already have an account, you can log in. Otherwise, create a new free account. And then click the Submit. After you download and install Waveform 8, if it is the first time you are, you are installing a Traction product, like Waveform 8, then simply follow up the prompts that guide you to how to set up your audio interface and all the different settings. If you already have Traction T5, T6 or T7, which are the free versions, it will simply copy most of the settings from those previous installations and will be most of the time ready to use. To check, make sure you go into the settings and go to each of the different areas to make sure that it is all correct. And as you can see here, all of my Traction T6 and T7 active projects are also shown. And I'm ready to start. There are many upgrades and new features between Traction T7 and Waveform 8. I won't be showing you all of the differences, but I will point out the obvious ones. Firstly, new option is right here under the edits. Now we can actually click and listen to the edit. Right, this is the last time we actually mixed and exported the Stereo Master output. That's what it's playing. Give you an idea that what the song is about, so you have some idea if that's the right one you want to open. Because remember, you can have multiple edits per project. So that if you are working from one version where the arrangement is different from the other, even though all of the audio are the same, then you can have multiple edits. And here you can preview each one of them. To open it, we just simply select and double click. And we will straight away see some difference. Mixing options. Now we have a mixer. In Waveform 8, that's the first time where Traction added a mixing console. And right at the corner here, we can actually turn it off and turn it back on. To get full screen, we can certainly turn off the bottom part. And we got a full mixer. We still have the side mixer. For those who still like it that way, which is all fine. So we can turn this off. Now it looks like Traction T7. With obviously added benefits. But we can turn that off and open our mixer. In the mixer, we have right here some options available. Where we can have really wide ones. We can extend it. We can have narrower ones to fit more channels in. And even thinner ones. At the bottom here, we've got more options where we can actually see the levels. These are the level meters, which we'll see in a minute as I play. Yeah, 
So as you can see, all the levels go up, including from the side. And then we have more levels. And then after that, we've got the plugins. Here we can actually drag, drop plugins, just like on the other side mixer. And then we can actually see all the different plugins. At the moment, as you can see, I have not used any plugin. There's nothing on these, any of these tracks. So what you're hearing is just simply balancing. And the other one is the outputs. So you can actually see that these outputs are going directly to the main output, where these other ones are actually going to a bus. And we can color them as well. So if I color my drums bus, blue, as you can see, now these are now blue. And you can see that they are going into a bus. And that's my bus there, blue, red, which is my vocal background bus, are the red ones. We will look into these mixer options in a future video as well. This is just a simply a very quick overview. So let's have a quick listen to the song. And these are the faders. My bus for the drums. These are faders. Do these things that drive me it's solo, mute, all the same. So as you can see, now Waveform 8 looks very similar to other common DAWs where they have mixes at the bottom and your waveform and tracks and timeline at the top. So what can you do with Waveform 8? Well, create music, of course. If you have any comments or if you'd like me to make any videos on different topics in regards to Waveform 8, please comment below and I'm more than happy to come up with videos and to answer all your questions on how to record, how to set up, how to do certain things in Waveform 8. So please comment below. Yeah, and make sure you subscribe and hit that bell as well. So as soon as I upload any video on Waveform 8, uh, you'll be notified and then you can watch it and learn more. Till next time, as always, thanks for watching and have a great time making music. Cheerio, guys. <laughs>